Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I'm here for my week 32 wrap-up, I think. I'm filming this a little bit later. I normally film these on Saturdays, but this past weekend was busy. You know, new grandbaby. I had to go visit her, right? Especially because she lives close to me. And I did get permission from mom to share the, this photo, so enjoy. Editor here. I forgot to say that this Saturday, the 20th of August, Rhea from the Book Finch and I are doing a live stream check-in for the new release-a-thon. Included in the descriptions is the video and it is going to be hosted on my channel. So I would love to see you there and hear what books you're reading. I've also been selected to be part of a judging team for the self-published science fiction contest, which begins here in August. I'll leave a link down below to the website about the contest. It's going to start off with a cover contest, kind of saying what do we think is the prettiest cover. And then we will go into self-published books. I believe 304 books were submitted. And then, because not all of the books that were submitted followed the guidelines, I think 296 continued on to be split among the 10 judging teams. So we're getting all that finalized and I'm very, very excited to be able to read more self-published science fiction. I heard about this contest last year while watching videos from Scott over at Book Invasion. I get to be on his team this year. Very excited for that. But Going into my wrap-up, the only book I have finished is Tiger Honor by Yoon Han Lee. This book works for the new release-a-thon because it came out in January of 2022 and also as one of my prompts for the really magical uh, autumn e equinox and because it has gold foil on, on it. This is the sequel to Dragon Pearl, but it is following a different perspective. It's following the perspective of Sabin. And Sabin is part of a tiger clan, same tiger clan as Captain Juan from the first book. Uh, Space For uh, the Space Forces now accepts younger ages, and so they're very excited to get out in space, like their hero Captain Juan and some other family members. It is something that they've always wanted to do. They've kind of lived a shelter, sheltered life. And then, this is going to be a mild spoiler if you haven't read Dragon Pearl, but they get word that Captain Juan has been uh, not disqualified. Has been court-martialed due to bad behavior. And they are crushed. They don't understand they haven't been given the details, but they're crushed because this is their hero. However, they have been accepted into the Space Forces, and so now they're off to do that. And through the course of this book, you do get to see men from the first book, but she's a little bit older, a little bit wiser. Her and Special Investigator Yi have a good relationship. and. Not everything is as it seems, and Sabin is trying to build bonds with the other cadets and figure out how his, like, he, he thinks that the Space Forces have messed up, that his uncle Juan didn't do anything bad, and he's trying to reconcile these two ideas. So it's really about coming into terms with the family we have and seeing them for who they are but still understanding that our families have very strong bonds for us, or still have very strong bonds to us, and you can still love your family even if they make mistakes, big mistakes. I then continued reading the short story collection, The Way Spring Arrives and Other Stories with Kristen L. SFF Reader and Shannon from That So Poe. 
really enjoying it. I think the latter half of this book, I have been enjoying the stories more. I think we've gotten a few more stories that I, I considered science fiction, which that's what I was wanting versus the fantasy. So I'm really starting to like this collection. And it's been fun to have little essays throughout that's just talking about the translation process and Chinese literature uh, written by women. It's fascinating to see their evolution. And I don't know why, but I guess I had just never thought about it before. But each country is going to have their own evolution of science fiction literature. And it's going to come from their exper their cultural experiences and mythos. So it's really interesting to see. I, I'm really enjoying this collection. And then I also worked on Eclipse the Moon, which is the second which is the sequel to Hunt the Stars, and this is following Key Ildes and Varro Bronco. Well, we only get the Key perspective, but that's the pairing. I really loved Key from the first book, and the first book really telegraphed what the pairing, pairings would be. I, so I knew who her love interest would be, would be Varro. Sorry if you haven't read the first one. You figure it out pretty quickly. And I like that their romantic journey is a different trajectory than Tavi and Torrens. Where Tavi and Torrens was a kind of, no, where Tavi and Torrens was enemies to friends to lovers. You have two friends already, and Key thinks that Varro is not interested in anything more, but she has unrequited, unrequited feelings for him. So it has led to some very fun situations and I'm enjoying it. And I also briefly started Notorious Sorcerer by Davinia. I remember Davinia is the first name. And this is a fantasy arc that I got on an ebook. Barely started it. Just kind of getting the sense of the world and starts off kind of having the main character use alchemy, which is the magic of their world and what things are founded upon. So I don't have any, really anything much more to say than that. Just continuing with my new release of Thon reading and once I finish that I can then finish my magical Aurelium Autumn Equinox picks and then whatever dragon books I can fit in. Which actually, The Way Spring Arrives has had I think two stories with dragons so that got to work for my one of my dragon prompts for the drac for draconathon so going into my writing wrap up i didn't write this week i have an i know the setting of the scene i want to write but i'm not and i know what the scene needs to do needs to set up for my character but i don't know how I kind of want to think play, things to play out. I like to, well, I'm a pantser, so I don't really need to know that much information, but I do like to know what are the beginning elements of the scene. Like, is it a piece of dialogue? Does my character walk in? What's going on? Because then I can work from there, and then a natural conversation will happen, which this is going to be more of a conversation piece, or conversation element anyway. So, yeah, that's where I am pondering and daydreaming about this scene that I need to write before I can jump into the rest of my revisions. And then for other media, I thought that I had received an email saying that we had until the 22nd to vote for the Hugos. No, that was for other site selection. So last minute I decided to pick up four, um, yeah, four movies from the long form presentations for the Hugos thinking that I'd have time to watch all of them before the voting and I had time to watch three of them or I'll explain in a moment so and I just picked these up from my library <laughs> luckily they were all available ID enough the green knight I just couldn't get into it but I really liked Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, really enjoyed Dune, and loved Encanto. And I have the 
different songs in my head. I know, I know, I'm late to it when it comes to Encanto. I've heard so many people already talking about it, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad that I finally got to see it, and I talked my mom and my dad into watching it. I'm just not talking to everyone else that I know who hasn't seen it into watching it. So that's all I have. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these movies. In the next week or so, at least before Worldcon begins, I hope to have a couple videos for the categories I was able to vote in, which now long form presentation was one of them, thanks to me watching all these movies. But other than that, yeah. So what about you? Are you someone who votes in the Hugos? Do you follow what those nominations are? Let me know. Thank you and have a good day.